Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, we've been doing a lot of serious stuff recently, so I thought it might be nice to mix things up and actually just have just a chill, you know, session here and play a video game. And I, I personally love watching gameplay. Um, I watch a lot of gamers, I love Game Grumps and Jacksepticeye the most, but I watch a lot of gamers. The most recent uh, video gameplay that I watched was uh, Death Stranding, uh, which Jacksepticeye did. But I, I do genuinely love gameplay and I love video games. And this is a video game that I've been meaning to watch, but I haven't watched. So I thought since I have OBS now, uh, it might be worth it to actually just play it and see how I like it. If you guys are willing to just chill out with me a little. I know the last few live streams with Aunt Holly Sarah, with uh, the guys from the You Don't Love Me podcast. It, they've been a little heavy and a little serious and also quite long and I just want to make something chill and calm and fun today so I'm playing a video game and I don't really know what it's about it's one of the few that I haven't experienced I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play and I hope that you like it I love the art style I love the music and I hope that it's an immersive experience and yeah uh, I hope you guys are doing well in isolation. I'm certainly doing a lot better than last week, slowly becoming the new normal. So, yeah, let's get on with the gameplay. It's beautiful, like, look at the art style. And the music is gorgeous as well. Right, let's start. I wonder if there's voice acting in this video game. Okay, so there is a trigger warning. Um, so for those of you who may be uh, susceptible to these kinds of things, please do take note of it. And please do uh, treat the subject with care. Um, I don't like making light of either of these topics, suicide or self-harm. So yeah, please do be aware of that. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Oh, there's an LGBT flag, a lipstick lesbian flag, that's nice. I'm not saying I'm gay, but also, <laughs> that's also kind of what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I like, I like this song. <laughs> um, in a door, mirror, in a door. The door to the outside world, sick. Uh, let's go to the bathroom. 1.15 p.m. There's stores? What is this place? Another day, another special occasion to wear whatever I found on the floor. Relatable. It's in these books. So many books. Tea. There are literally pockets of Viet Cong in the back of my shelf that don't know the war is over. <laughs> nice. Plants. Some people have kids. May and I have plants that are hard to kill. Diversity is beautiful. Lovely. Uh, tea. Tea is perfect on a day like this. Beautiful, quiet, calm. Oh, I do. I like this character, whoever she is. Ugh, I need to work. Mood. But I'm so bored, I can't focus. What's this? Should I accept it? Sure. Work. <laughs> so cute! Uh, send me him back. I wonder if she'll respond. Work stuff. Oh, accept. You're welcome. So, Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Uh, working but can't focus. Hmm. Oh no, I feel that. I hope I'm not distracting you. I also can't focus. 
I'm procrastinating with makeup right now. You're not distracting. Let's see the makeup. Let's see the makeup. Mm -hmm. Let's see the makeup. I like that they make you wait. Ah, oh, look. Oh, she's pretty. Tell me I'm beautiful, mother. Oh, oh dear. Highly skilled. You're the cutest. You're the cutest. Hi, you're I didn't say send a picture. This is a stranger. <laughs> I want you wrapped in my... What does this say? Areas like a burrito? Be my bur burrito? Oh my god, no, you. You're the cute. You're so cute. Go out with me. Um... No. No thanks, but I appreciate you asking. Uh, yeah, that's generally how I respond to people asking me out online, that I have no idea who they are. Um, thanks, okay, good luck with work. Sick. N nice. Work stuff. What even is a four-dimensional shape? What is a four-dimensional shape? I suck at maths. Um, hmm. Let's try some other music. I like this one the most. Alright. Okay. Soon the day was over. I went out to eat with friends. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. <gasps> She's so pretty! You're leaving? When will you get back? Her name's May. Me. Probably after nine. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Oh, that's not a good- that's not a good sign. Okay, bye then. Wait! Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. I was on the computer for that long. Look! <laughs> you remembered? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Me. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. She sang for me sweetly. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. Me and Alicia right there. <laughs> what? What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Oh, May, I really like you. Don't do anything to yourself, please. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aww. Haha, <laughs> I'll see you later. Goodbye. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. The art style is gorgeous. I ate dinner with my friends, with friends, as usual. I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. M from May. You're a great friend. It's not your fault. I'm scared. And then mom. Hey sweetie, how was your day? Oh, I can't click on them? When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. Oh no. Oh, what is that? Oh. I read the note. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love me. Don't come in the room. Okay. I really don't want to trigger anyone. Because I don't know what's going to be behind the door. So... If you're susceptible to anything like self-harm or suicide, I need you to- I need you to click off. I need you to go because I want to open the door. Um... 
or you can just skip forward enjoy a different video i do not want to trigger anybody um but i'm gonna go now i'm gonna wait a beat for you to leave okay now we're gonna dive in oh this may have been a poor idea but it looks so pretty The door felt heavier than usual. As I opened the door... Oh no... I saw the body hanging. The smell. The sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the screen. Myself, her, the police that eventually came. A disembodied feeling and heard myself scream endlessly no my disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal circus I find myself in I overheard strangers and friends alike talk did you hear what happened no what Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral I heard her singing, now sad and slow. This is so sad. Her singing when everyone else forgot. Her not being, and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead and we were putting her in the ground. Let's try again, because I don't want that to happen. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May. May, is that you? Come back. She smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail, as if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared in the snow. I'd missed my chance. Aww. That was sad. I know this is meant to be a chill gaming session and I honestly didn't know what to expect um, for this game. I mean, maybe I should have taken the trigger warning and just exited the game. But I also think that this is a really important topic to touch, especially with so many people in isolation. It's not going to help with their mental health. Um, and you know, self-harm, suicidal thought, I, I feel like these are normal things. These are normal things for that many, many people go through, not to minimize it or, you know, treat it like it's nothing. It, it's, it's something that a lot of people go through, a lot of young people, a lot of older people, um, especially with those with any kind of depression or anxiety, they are more susceptible to those kinds of things. So I'm kind of torn between stopping the recording, trying something a little bit more light and a little bit more fun and continuing because I, I value this topic. Um, I want to continue it. If you're still comfortable, 
please do stick around. But if you're not, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, it doesn't matter what you feel about me, if you enjoy my content, if you're not enjoying this gameplay, please do click off. Dislike, unsubscribe, do what you have to do, but I would rather you did that than have a bad time. It's, it's the last thing that you could have want. You could want, and I don't want that for you. So, yeah. Um, click off if you're if this is making you unhappy or triggering you in any kind of way and I mean that from the bottom of my heart and I hope you have a better day um, but I think I'm gonna continue playing this I wake up in a cold sweat fearful but not sure why what was that about never mind never mind that I should start working My roommate's door. She used to keep it open. Now, it's usually closed. I, rem I remember that dream I had. Pros of wearing black. Hot as hell. Cons of wearing black. It's hot as hell. My precious Madoka Magica poster, which really is just a printout mood. I do that as well. You all right, love me. God, they're cute. Aww. I hope midterm went well. You got, got your baba, it's in the fridge. Boba, it's in the fridge. You all right? Aww. And some friends from my friend and roommate, May, who is both distant and a total sweetheart. Damn. I don't know if I should check all this again. Um, the door to the outside world. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing in there. I, so I just thought I might um, check. <laughs> um, ugh, I need to work. I'm so bored I can't focus. What's this? Should I accept it? Yeah, let's accept it. I'm not gonna miss any messages now. So cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Perfect for de-stressing from my work. I wonder if she'll respond. A lot of this is same from the last time, but I'm picking different things. That's weird. I hear voices. The fuck was that? Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Wait. Getting closer, I hear voices. Listen. Although my Chinese was bad, I could still detect an angry Chinese mother when I heard one. I'm not gonna say that, that's gonna get me in trouble, but that is Chinese. Too lazy. Why don't you? Her mother's fast. Lecturing Chinese sometimes paused for May's soft murmur of affirmation, then continued. I felt like I was listening to something I shouldn't have, so I distanced myself from the door. Should I go back? I'll hear voices, but I'll respect her privacy. Have I gone back in time? Except. Hee <laughs> hee, TY, thank you. Good luck with work. I'm procrastinating from work with makeup right now, haha. <laughs> thank you. You're precious. You too, thank you. The noise from my roommate's room has quietened now. I'm gonna check again. If I have to, I'm worried about <laughs> I wonder if I should check up on her. Knock. I hesitate, then not. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? May! Yes? Um... 
Shit, what should I say? You okay? I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Oh, thank you. I'm fine. Uh, well. I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me in case you don't want to be alone? I'd like that, but I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Oh, that's how I feel about Alicia. Oh, I miss you so much. Oh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking at the setting sun. Life. What are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot. Also, not much. A lot? Ah, sorry, I haven't stayed updated. Haha, <laughs> stayed updated. Like I'm your favourite TV show. Don't worry about it. Just to my best friends out there, like all of you, y'all are better than TV shows. <laughs> I know I'm not the best at keeping up to date because I'm a loner, like I'm such a loner sometimes, but I love all of you guys. I don't know why, this is just making me so emotional. <laughs> I mean, obviously like the stuff earlier in the episode, but also now, like I'm also emotional now because of this, like it's cute. I just feel like I don't make enough time for you. Oh, that's okay. You're not obligated to. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? Stop! <laughs> I forgot! You remembered? Of course I did. Happy birthday to you. She sang me happy birthday. Oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Airdrops. Let's put dream. I had a weird dream. Ooh, what? Okay, can I just say that this main character, the me in this character, is so me. Like, this is <laughs> ridiculous. Um, it was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm? And I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh. What does it mean? I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Aw, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here. If you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like, my most recent one, it featured you, actually. In a bad or good way? Good. Go on. Haha, <laughs> there was a massive epidemic. <laughs> can't get away from it. Just can't get away from it. It was gonna wipe out the world. I got infected. I was gonna die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was gonna save the world. Yeah. Dream you really saved me. So, how have you been? Fine, just tired. Big mood. How so? <laughs> I don't know, like, a bone-deep tiredness. That's so relatable. I mean, as, a, as someone who suffers from depression, like, I fully understand just like... 
it's not even tiredness it's it's a tiredness that's born from just mental boredom like every nothing you do is satisfying and, and nothing you um, try to do everything you try to do just feels empty I don't know if that makes sense or not but that that is extremely relatable day after day what do you mean like every day I wake up force myself to do something I don't like and go back to sleep big mood big mood sometimes I look outside my window and see a whole world out there and feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day hmm I think I can understand that. You can? I mean, I feel like that when I absolutely must do something I don't like, like math. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you're definitely not alone. I feel like a lot of people do things because they're supposed to, not because it makes them happy. It's more than doing things that make you happy though. Yeah, it really is. It really, like, I, mm, it really is. I don't know how to explain it though when people ask me, but it, this big relatable mood, it's not just doing things that you're happy. I need purpose. I want to feel like my life has a direction. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that simple. It's not that simple. It's not, e it's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I don't know what to pick. Is this constant? I'll help you and you like nothing. Um, let me ask. Is this constant? Have you always felt like this? Pretty much. Yeah. By now, it's not a good feeling, but it's comfortable. Oh, big mood. Big, 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 big mood. I'm not sure if I want to change. And even if I did, I wouldn't know how. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try it every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. What are airdrops? Let time pass. We talked more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we even, before we knew it, evening was dawn, evening dawned. Can't read all of a sudden. I gotta go. I have work. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. I'm always hit down to hang again. Yay. Thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. It's open! Yay! <laughs> oh, sure. Message me back, partner. You good, fam? Wow, time flies by fast. <laughs> I kind of need to use the bathroom. Must be all that all that tea. Cutest. Also, feel free to ignore me if I'm distracting you. You're fine. I'm working on math right now, but don't worry, you're not distracting me. Maybe a little, but I'm enjoying it. Alright, I need to use the bathroom. Oh, okay. Shortly after that day, May moved out. I haven't heard from her since. Before she left, she'd written me a note. I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came my voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could, and I could finally open my door. 
I'm not gonna forget her. Let's go text her. Hey, wanna catch up sometime? I wonder whether she'll reply. I wonder whether she's still alive. The end. Survivor. Surviving one night at a time. Thank you for playing. Game by Angela He, inspired by real life Evan and Junji Ito. Oh. Such a good game. I mean, it's triggering for sure. But it's it's wonderful. It was such a beautiful game, like in terms of the the, the music and the aesthetic of it. I I really, really appreciated this story being shared to me in, in this form. And this is one of the reasons why I love um, storytelling through video games, because I, I think it's such a wonderful way to tell a story that it's not, it's not like reading something or just watching something. You are involved in the creation of the story and it's, it, it's such an impactful and powerful thing. And I don't know, like this is such an important issue. And I thought that this was, a good way of conveying the seriousness of the issue and myself I've been struggling in finding ways to present this without making light of it and without it being too serious um, and I mean that pretty much summed up all my thoughts on it as someone who's gone through my own personal struggles and things like that I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that anybody and everybody should should play this game. I think it's a wonderful game and those who can sort of hack the deeper issues that are in the game, I definitely recommend it. I, I definitely think that it sort of goes through the mind of someone who's suffering like this. Um, and it also gives you the tools to be able to pick um, possible choices of what you can tell this person. and. Yeah, I, I don't know, it, it just, it, it felt, especially towards the end, I just found it so relatable to myself and I really, really appreciate that. So to the game makers, thank you so much and I, that's it, like I, I just, I thank you so much. Um, I'm going to close out the video, we've been recording for about 30 minutes, which is pretty standard for me. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope I didn't upset anybody, I uh, didn't trigger anybody. Um, and yeah, I will see you in another video. This turned out to be another really heavy video. I didn't, ex I didn't want to, but that's what it turned into. But I'm really, really glad that I recorded this and I'm really, really glad that I played this game because I genuinely just had so many emotions about it and, oh, it was, it, it was wonderful. Um, if <laughs> I don't even know how to close out the video I, I just hope you had a good time um, if you enjoyed this please do leave a like please do share obviously to people who you know won't be affected seriously by this um, if you want to see more content like this please do let me know consider subscribing if you're new here um, I also have a PayPal patreon I've got merch links down below if you want to support me in that way you don't have to of course and Tell me what you thought. Tell me what you thought. If you have experiences that you want to share, um, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you want to reach out to talk to somebody, always feel free to DM me on Instagram or Twitter or even just in the comment section. Um, I'll always read things that people send me. I won't necessarily respond back, sometimes because I don't always have the right advice or I don't have advice that I can give. But the least I can do is read, you know? The least I can do is acknowledge the fact that someone sent something to me from the bottom of their heart and I will always read it and I will always let you know that I read it. Um, and I, yeah, just remember that even in on even if on an existential level we are all alone and you know it's a cold universe we have each other and i think that that's really really important to remember even if we are keeping distance physically right now especially in the climate that we're currently in um it's so important for us to maintain connections with other people and make sure that not just for them but also for ourselves and just remember that you're not alone not on a social level anyway 
there's you have family that you choose you have blood related family there is always someone that you can connect with and share an experience with and if you don't have anyone like that then perhaps this might be a time for you to find those people find your tribe um but yeah anyway thank you for joining me and i will see you in the next video uh I'm gonna have X Cult Baby for a stream tomorrow, which is gonna be another serious video. I can see if I can make it a little more light lighthearted, but wow, that was a journey. That was a real trip. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>